All right, so here, <clears throat> just a quick uh, walk through through the scene and how the lights work. Um, so I have a general ambient light in the scene, pretty weak, it just gives us a general uh, idea of, you know, environmental lighting, but it's really kind of setting a pretty somber mood. And then there's a whole set of point lights. So for example, here in that little house, when you arrive, you kind of get a, um, you know, initial light that is actually a house that was 3D scanned and then we built in Rhino. So it uses some of the 3D scan textures um, that of course have their own lighting during the day. But it was, you know, it doesn't have any sharp shadows on it. So it kind of works pretty well with the additional point light. And you can see if I turn it down completely. So this is how it would look without. Um, you know, just sort of the space on its own and it kind of also gave it a bit of a color and amped it up to 15 to make it uh, pretty warm. And then here uh, over the, um, basically just the, any of these signs, there's also lights that uh, kind of help to illuminate the sign itself. So they're not super diligently named, but it's one of these Lights are here. I think it's this one here. Um, oh, this one's kind of hidden. Um, that actually is, you can see the shadow of it right right here. Um, yeah, and then we just kind of went through and looked into each of the spaces. So the general mood when you walk around is pretty, pretty somber. Oh, and so here, um, these are just textures. They don't have any light baking on them. They're kind of just as they are, but then you know, here's a 3D scan texture. It has been modified in Mudbox. So it has sort of a real life bake. So it's not a blender, blender light bake, but a light bake that came to, to say from the actual texture that is still on there because it was, you know, it's pretty low res, but still enough to kind of help read the shadows. Because if this would not have that kind of shadows on it, it would read a lot more flat and that gives it a sort of dimensional space. So then here you go into the mushroom lounge, the mycelium lounge, and as you see, there's a light in here that makes it look real cozy. And uh, that's also one of these point lights that are here on the side. So it sort of, you know, really emphasizes uh, the kind of interior of that space. And I think also when you walk by, without, when we did it without the lighting, it didn't, wasn't that perfect. <laughs> inviting maybe even, but um, so it really helps to have it, have it there. And then here, uh, same thing within the mycelium lounge, uh, sorry, the actual, so this was the mycelium lounge and this is actual mycelium kind of mushroom where there's this dome, we put another line in here that actually helps to um, illuminate the interior of it. And then there's, so as you see, uh, basically all the interiors where you have sort of uh, inside space have this sort of warm light and then um, the ones that are more on the outside but need a little bit more lighting for the exhibition so here they have this white light so see when you look at the point light they have different colors so for example this one has is white and that means it's one of these exhibition lights and then this one is warm so it's one of these um, uh, I guess more general lights. Um, so, for example, here now I have this one selected, um, and when I move it around, you know the whole lighting in the scene, of course, also changes. So it takes a little bit of finding the right. And again, here a combination between sort of a real scan that had its own lights already that has its shadows, right, combined with sort of the additional lighting of Mozilla Hubs, um, and then. So again, it's relatively dark, just enough to see the way. And here we have a kind of uh, the packaging lounge. And here, because even though it's sort of an interior space, it's kind of in between. We had an exhibition in here with information. We also had um, kind of kept it a white light. And here you can you can see how it's moving with it. And yeah, and that's it. Um, there's basically, you know, I think there's another one in here inside of the, yeah, but here again, a warm light that kind of helps to illuminate the interior here. And then there's also one uh, set here to kind of highlight the general space 
uh, of the installation area. And this is it. And when you kind of look from above, you start really seeing, uh, you know, some of the, especially the mycelium lounge is glowing. The other ones are maybe a little bit more subtle, but you start seeing this com combination of the really cold light here and the warm light here, and then some of the uh, kind of scanned light that comes from the 3D textures themselves. And that's it. I hope that gives you a little bit of an overview over uh, over things, you know, the different ways that you can use lighting um, in Blender, in 3D scanning, and then also in Spoke.